Welcome to Hope is Here. My name is Greg Horn, and we are continuing our conversation this week with Sean Reynolds. Uh, Sean is a comedian, and uh, I love the scripture. It says, a cheerful heart is medicine to the soul. And when I do a lot of weddings, i uh, sure about that, uh, just reminding people to make sure to have time to laugh. It obviously uh, makes us feel better. It's good for you physically. Sean uh, does great comedy. It's clean. It's funny. And yet, uh, also, he has a very inspirational story of how he got in it and then how they adopt to the child we've already had him our guest three times this week time has flown by because as the old saying goes when you're having fun time flies and that's what we've done this week with sean so i want to encourage you if you uh, haven't heard any of our previous three programs go to our website uh, hope is here dot today that is hope is here dot today also you can check out sean uh, sean reynolds comedy dot com that's sean with a w s h a w n sean reynolds comedy dot com well we talked yesterday about your adopting your your son Keegan, mm-hmm. and that's been several years ago. But um, you know, you know, you're a super busy guy. Family of six, also full time job, fifty hours a week. Uh, your goal is to be a great father, do a great job at your job, and you do. You're in a management position, have a lot of responsibility. Uh, you found some time to go out of the country this year, and uh, share a little bit about that, Sean. Yeah, well, it's, it's interesting. Like. Uh, comedy has opened up so many doors for me. I've been, I've gone to the places and I've performed at places and met people I never thought I would have. Uh, you know, I tell people all the time, I've performed at huge churches, small churches, corporate events. I've performed for McDonald's and Dairy Queen. Uh, I've performed at a pizza parlor in Tell City, Indiana for 40 people where the salad bar was right next to the stage. So, <laughs> and people were not turning around unless they were like eating their pizza with their backs to me. So I've literally, I've, I've seen everything. I've been everywhere. Uh, but one of the things that my family and I do is we sponsor uh, we sponsor two children through Compassion International. Compassion International is a nonprofit organization that releases children from poverty in Jesus' name. Uh, they are an amazing organization. Like I said, we sponsor two children. Uh, once we learned about Compassion and what they do, um, we made my kids come up. We will, what happened was we went to a church and they had a compassion mobile experience where you can walk through and understand what kids in third world countries are living through. And then at the end, they give you an opportunity to sponsor a child. And my kids, they walked through that and they were like, we got to sponsor a child. And I was like, well, you know, we got to, it's $38 a month. And I'm like, we're a paycheck to paycheck family. You guys come up with a $38 a month. And they did. Uh, every other week after church, we, we'd eat out at the cookout, which isn't a fancy restaurant, but my kids think it is, so don't tell them if you see them. You know, <laughs> my kids are like, oh, can we go to a fancy restaurant like IHOP? That's what my kids are. So they'll, if you see them, please let them continue believing that. Uh, but we used to go to the cookout. Uh, there's so many of us, you know, it's about $45. Uh, we go there twice a month, and my kids were like, well, what if we cut out going to the cookout uh, one time a month? That would be the money, right, Dad? And I said, that is. And so we, we sponsored a child. And then they enjoyed the experience so much because, like, you get to connect with the child you're sponsoring. You write letters. There's an app where you can see what's going on in your child's life, what the weather is, what the – you get letters from their pastor. But mostly the, you can you can write letters back and forth. And, and I'm saying write letters with the, with the air quotes because it's like using Facebook Messenger or sending a text. You know, you're messaging them through your phone with the computer. I mean, you can write an old-fashioned letter, but – and you're giving a child hope and letting a child know that, like, we care about you and, 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 and you know, and, and God has a plan for you and God loves you and, and we're praying for you and, and it gives a child hope. And so anyways, we enjoyed the experience so much. My kids wanted to sponsor a second child and cut out the second trip to cookout. So now we don't go to cookout anymore. Sorry, cookout. Maybe somebody from cookout can listen to this and be like, we need to give that guy a monthly gift card. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing a lot of promotion for cookout by saying we're not going to cookout, but it's for a good reason. And it's, on, it's honestly, it's symbolic. We actually purposely don't go there anymore because not going to cookout symbolizes us taking care of these two children. And so we sponsor a second child in Guatemala. And when Compassion kind of heard that, uh, somebody from Compassion saw my comedy. Uh, they wanted me to be a part of a, a comedy tour with Compassion with Anita Renfro, who's an amazing Christian comic. She's super hilarious. She's famous for having the mom song on YouTube. Uh, I got to do comedy with her. And Compassion uh, saw, you know, my comedy and they saw my passion for uh, the work that they do. They brought me on as an artist so I can actually now go to churches and, and speak about Compassion, whether it's at the end of my comedy shows or whether a church brings me in on a Sunday just during announcements. I love to take a quick five minutes and talk about Compassion and try to get kids sponsored uh, for $38 a month. So Compassion took me to Guatemala in September uh, for a week so that I could see firsthand what they're doing. Um, you know, there's so many nonprofits out there that, that say that they're doing one thing, but then you find out that they're doing another or that the money's just not going to the right places. 
Um, and I'm cynical like that. You know, when somebody asks me for money, I'm always like, what is this money really going towards? Yeah. Right? I'm sure Absolutely. I'm, you know that. Yep. Uh, so be, before we even signed up with Compassion, I had done my homework, and they and they just they measured out so well on these third party like Charity Navigator. I think it's one of them that does like research and reports on these charities that they're doing what they say they're doing, and they they scored very high. But uh, I got to go to Guatemala and see firsthand the work that they're doing, and it was uh, it was incredible the work that they're doing. It was heartbreaking seeing uh, how some of these folks are living in third world countries. Uh, you know, we, we always hear about it. You know, there's people in third world countries that don't have anything. Uh, but you say it so much, it almost becomes like it's not real. It's almost like a, like something you see on TV. It's like a movie. It's like not a, it's not it's not like real. At least that's how it was for me. But then I got on a plane and you know I was in Guatemala in like four hours, and it was like wow, like these are our neighbors. Like these are not some people on another planet. These are like our these are these are our brothers and sisters uh, living this way, and it was really hard to see. Uh, but it was uh, it was really um, inspiring to see that the work that Compassion does uh, it, they take a full approach. It's not just um, you know uh, it's not just giving people money. It's giving people tools and it's giving people teaching them about Jesus and and uh, and trying to release them from poverty. Um, you know, people in America, I did at least I, I did thought, think that poverty can be fixed with money, but that's only a short term solution. If you give a family money, uh, they have money that month, uh, but then that does not in the cycle of poverty, you know, poverty is crime and, and, and unemployment and no medical benefits. And it's a circle. And in order to fix poverty, you have to, you have to teach children skills so that they can grow up and break that circle of poverty. And that's what I got to see in Guatemala. And I also got to meet one of the, the, the child we sponsor. Her name's oh, Adriana. Wow. She's 12. We got to meet her. So tell me about that. That had to be pretty emotional and powerful. Oh, I like, I cried the whole time. Uh, but yeah, it was, um, uh, very emotional. Um, we, um, you know, I'm sorry, I get, I get choked up just talking about it. It's okay, man. Uh, I mean, uh, that's what I love about this guy. I love his comedy, but I love his heart even more. Yeah. So, uh, we, uh, I've sponsored kids with compassion, but I've never got to meet him. I can't yeah. imagine. I, I feel your pain. Yeah. You know I mean, I saw your pain, your heart, just the pain you felt for this precious child. And yeah, we met at a restaurant, and uh, she had never. She was 12. She had never been to a restaurant before. It was the first time she'd ever ordered off a menu. Uh, 12 years old. 12 years old. First time ever. Wow. Yep. Uh, she brought her mom with her, single mom. Mom. Uh, and all we did was went to a restaurant, and then Compassion took us to like this like park. It was really beautiful. There was a swing. There was a teeter-totter. And we got to spend some time. We got to play a little bit. My wife made this amazing amazing package for her of goodies. And and uh, and she, we found out that she, we, knew, we knew through Compassion because we, we communicate with her that she liked art. So my wife gave her this really amazing art book and paints. And, and it was just, it was amazing. And, and even her mom, who was probably, you know, in her fifties, said, "I have never had a day like this in my life. Like having this kind of a meal, uh, being at a beautiful park. Um, they had to be drove three hours to meet me. Their pastor drove them, which was just incredible that he took the time to drive them. And uh, and they were just like, um, it was just it was hard because they were like, we've just never had a day like this. And it was three hours. And and I just I remember when they left, I was like, wow, like, you know." We, we have this experience in America every day, going to a restaurant, going to a park. Are you kidding me? Like, we do that once a week. And for them, it was life-changing. And, and, uh, and so it was really eye-opening to see that firsthand of these are, these are our brothers and sisters, these are our neighbors, and they are not living well. Um, you know, they do, they do not have the resources that they need and they're trying. And, uh, and so it was, it was really heartbreaking, but, uh, it was, it was encouraging though to see what compassion is doing for these people. Uh, they're just, and then for these children, uh, the opportunity they give them, they get to go to a center. And, and so it really, uh, it was really exciting for me to see that, the work that compassion was doing. Well, I saw your Facebook post on, you just tuned in. We're talking with Sean Reynolds. He is a comedian. And obviously you're saying, well, I haven't heard a lot of comedy here today. But, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, this has been like Debbie Downer, but yet I think the flip side, if you listen to our first three programs we've had, you'll hear lots of humor. And you can check out his website, SeanReynoldsComedy.com. But one of the reasons I did want to have Sean on here is this is a story of hope that he is providing his family of six making sacrifices to adopt not just one, but two kids 
kids uh, in Guatemala and sacrifice going out to eat on Sundays uh, to cook out. And, you know, it's funny you mentioned cook out. Hey, you send us gift cards. Well, my niece, uh, she's on a college student in Wilmington, North Carolina, and so she doesn't have much money. So that's become her favorite place because that's yes. in her budget. Yes. Well, I went uh, to get her a gift card. Actually, I stand correct. I was going to, and her mom, uh, <laughs> she said, hey, what's going on? I said, well, I'm actually going to get a gift card to send to Sarah from uh, Cookout. And she said, don't do it. And I was like, why not? She loves that place. She goes, well, you don't have to waste your time driving. She said, I went to do that last month. They don't even do gift cards. So that's when you know it's a budget place. It's <laughs> a budget we, place. We don't even do gift cards, yeah. baby. And so, uh, yet yeah, they sacrificed two meals a month, which with a family of six, that's still about 40 bucks, even as cheap as cookout is, probably 45 actually with tax and all that. And yet, they, you know, they've changed two kids' lives, and then the part, and I understand why you're in tears, because I was, here's a mom in her 50s that even saying this is one of the best days of her life, best just going to the park and to a restaurant to eat. Yep, and I'll tell you, the one thing I learned in Guatemala, because we visited multiple homes, too, to learn about how they're living and what Compassion's doing for them. Um, the one thing that was amazing that I also saw, though, is that so many of these people had joy. They had true joy, and it was and 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 uh, and I asked every one of the parents. I'm like, can you tell me what you've done as a parent to create so much joy in your home? Because I know as a parent, and I didn't say this part, but in my head, I'm thinking in America, how do we how do we measure joy? It's how big is our house? Do our kids have Xbox? Do they have the new Nike shoes? And these people have nothing, and yet I'm seeing more joy in these homes than I'm seeing in many other homes, and in some case, my own home. You know, I, you know, I, we are very lucky that we have a very joyful home, but I'm seeing something in these houses that I don't even have in my own house, and yet these houses, they have leaky roofs, um, they have to struggle every day for food, and, you know, and that's what it was. It was, and I said, well, how do you have this joy? And it was always came back to two things, God and family. That was it. That was, it was every single home. We just, we, 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 we are thankful to God for what we have. And we are thankful that we have each other, and that's enough. And I saw it wow. firsthand that it was more than enough, <laughs> and it was just incredible. Well, I, like I said, I saw on Facebook just your reaction, and it, it moved me emotionally just even reading it on Facebook. And one of the best descriptions I ever heard of joy for some of you that are just struggling with being encouraged right now and kind of lost hope. If you want to have joy in your life, you know, there's a difference in joy and happiness. Yes. Happiness is based on what happens to you. A lot of people have heard that. Some haven't. But, you know, it's easy to be happy when your health's good, family's good, you've got money in the bank, your car's driving, all that stuff. But Joy and happiness, it's different. You know, joy is when you have peace and you, you exude peace and, you know, you have happiness regardless of your circumstances, which Sean obviously shared with um, what's going on with these people in Guatemala. Yet the best description I ever heard of joy using the acronym JOY, J-O-Y, of course, Jesus, others, yourself. Mm -hmm. And when you get that order right, putting Jesus first, others, and yourself, you can have joy and I mean, you made it pretty simple when you asked them that, and they just said, well, basically it's God and, you know, um, family. And so uh, I love that story. And for some of you today, maybe the reason you've kind of lost hope is you've got things out of perspective. It's been more about why, O.J., you, others than God. And I want to encourage you today to say, you know, forgive me, God, for being a whiner. Um, doesn't mean that you don't hurt, but yet there's people that have it a lot, lot worse. So if people want to get involved with compassion, what's the best way to do that, Sean? Uh, they can still email me about that. Uh, Sean Reynolds comedy at gmail.com or go to my website. Uh, I've made it my goal to get kids in Guatemala, uh, as many kids in Guatemala sponsored. Uh, but they can also through, they can, they can sponsor ch children all over the world, uh, through me. I've made it my goal to get 20 kids sponsored, uh, by the end of the year. And, uh, and so I'm trying to reach that goal of getting as many kids sponsored as possible. Hopefully 20 is my goal. So yeah, they can email me directly. They can ask me as many questions as they want and I can tell them everything that they need to know. All right. So that's Sean Reynolds comedy at Sean with the W S H A W N Sean Reynolds comedy.com. And what's the email again? Uh, Sean Reynolds comedy at gmail.com at, at gmail.com. And how much is it per month? It's sponsored? $38 a month. And you are, you are changing a kid's life. You are literally moving mountains in a kid's life. I've seen it firsthand. All right. Well, that's going to be a wrap for today. I'm Greg Horn, and this is Hope is Here. CMI is your full-service human resources provider in Central Kentucky. For 15 years, CMI Human Resources has taken great pride in helping organizations and people work. Whether it's employee handbooks or help in filling a position, no job is too large or too small for CMI. Contact the professionals today at CMI Human Resources, 859-296-2800 or online at cmiconsulting.com.